Good morning. You seven people watching this video. Back on the trailer. Got a few uh, hours today, my day off. So it's a balmy 35 degrees here in Michigan. So I thought let's get back on this and try to make some headway on this old rusty, we're calling it the OG trailer, I think. But plan is if, if we had one would be Let's just start on the front of this trailer. Let's focus on getting the front repaired and working our way back. I mean, it needs everything. So the only way I get my mind around it is let's just focus on the front and then work our way back. All right, I think what our guy's gonna start is with this beam here. This is a triangle. This runs in this way. It's got a decent weld here and here. But in between, there's something I'm missing there. I don't know if you can, well, you can see my lawn through the trailer. That's not good. Anywho, let's go ahead and get our death wheel on this. I'm gonna clean up this side, I'm gonna clean up what I got over here, find something decent that we can Zeus in some new welds. You can actually see here, this has been welded at one point or another before it looks like. <clears throat> I don't know if that's factory, but nonetheless, let's, let's cut it somewhere beyond that, that weld there. We'll make a new weld and I've got some new three inch channel. Well, let me show you. Here's what I got. I got these two scrap pieces here. This is three inch. And I'm thinking I should be able to, should fit in there. It goes like this, I guess, but you know what I'm saying. You get the idea. Let's just see what we got here for length. Oh yeah. Plenty. Come in a little bit. Uh, we got some clean metal here. It's pretty good. So I think we'll cut here. Delete all this. And then we'll cut just beyond this hole here. See, pretty straight cut. Oh no, not bad. Good amount of metal there to work with. I got it all the way through. I'm gonna try to use as much as we can. I'm not trying to spend a bunch more money on this. I just found the dullest pencil I could find, so that's fine. I can barely see it. It'd be perfect. I think I'm gonna get something to prop this up a minute before we go any further. All right, I got a brace on this side over here. Look how bad that is. I'll tell you what, don't be scared to start a project like this, guys, because let's be honest, you can't make it any worse, right? You know, take something that was ready, destined for the scrapyard. We're gonna try to keep it from going there, at least for a little while. So there's our gap from there to there. I'm gonna get my measurement tool out, measure it, and then we're gonna have to cut our new piece to fit. Give us an idea what we're dealing with here. Nineteen and seven eighths. Top is 
19 and three quarters. I guess it might be the easiest way to do this is take the piece we cut out, even though it's all bent up. Should be pretty close. I might actually have to go get a real marker. Let's uh, cut our new piece of good metal by supporting and bracing it with our old bad metal. That's perfect. That'll work, right? Voila. I'd rather be just slightly long. This frame is kind of twisted a little bit. Clean up the edges here. This side's fine. Let's clean up our cut side. Try to Zeus in one side and then straighten it best we can, level it, and then get the other side in. Here's where we are. We gotta grind it all down yet. Is it pretty? Nope. Will it work? Probably. So I need to figure out a way. I've got quite the gap over here yet. See that? Too much. I've got a little bit at the bottom tacked in, but I need to come up with a solution there. So let me uh, think on this a minute. Get back to you. All right. Well, listen. I'm not a welder, nor will I ever tell anybody that I am. Can I operate one? Yes. Is it pretty? Absolutely not. But listen guys, like I said before, a grinder on that will make it look pretty good. It's just flux core MIG. This side is much worse, booger welded. But, look at, I mean, it's better than nothing, right? This, this, this will work. This will hold. It's not going anywhere. And once we grind it down and powder coat it, and by powder coat, I mean aerosol can it, you won't even know. Well, this side I did a lot better than this side, but, you know, I'm learning, so... The more you know. I'm gonna go ahead and grind this down. We'll throw some paint on it and I'll show you what it looks like when this part's done. So let's get to it. Hey, it's not so bad. I didn't even take those all the way down. This side, again, not great. Listen, it's good enough. Prime it, spray it, and call this fixed. And then let's get over to this side. We gotta pull some boards off here. And we got the same issue over here. I gotta cut that section out choice here for primer is we've got a little bit of left of this touch eye tone or end tone it's the cheapest stuff I could find at the depot and then I got some of this it's about empty it's yeah sure it's about the same color so let's just on there we'll let it dry as it's drying we'll pull off this side wood here on top just the two pieces like over there and start assessing this side
That's empty. See, this section here is probably the worst. A little bit there as well. But what I'm thinking is, based on what we have left in material, let's just cut it out here. Get a new piece in there, and then I'll just get a piece of 3 16ths or quarter inch or something plate, and we'll clean that, we'll make a patch on that piece there so that we're not you know cutting out as much as we did over there so that way i don't have to buy more material at this point i mean i'm gonna need to anyways obviously but uh we're gonna try to limit on that for a guy if you know what i mean okay let me uh grind this out and then we'll see where we want it cut we'll snip it out of there Ah uh, yes, perfect. It's just with a little bit of grinding, it'd be a perfect fit. All right, well, here we are. We got it, uh, we got the new metal Zeus in both sides here. And I went ahead and put a coat of black paint on this. And the camera died, so um, I went ahead and finished welding in this piece over here and ground it down. Now we just need to put some paint on it so it's slow down on the rust, basically. All right, go ahead and take a look here, see how this turned out. Not too shabby. Did a much better job of measuring and cutting. Basically left myself a lot more, uh, you know, so I could just basically keep grinding one side until I could just get it to fit in there and that worked out really well. So I'm using this. Uh, it's one reason really. It's what I have. And it's black. So we're going to use it. So that's what I put on this side. You can see, I'll put one more coat on there, but I mean, look at the welds. You can't even see them anymore. It's like they disappeared. You guys, uh, you don't have to be shy about your ugly welding. I mean, I'm certainly not, and black paint hides a lot.
a little more hole. More hole on that one either. All right, we got all the deck boards off, and honestly, it doesn't look that bad. I was, we need to get through and wire wheel it and spray it. We had a few boards that didn't make it, they cracked, they were just too far gone. But I think we saved over half of the board, so that'll save us in the end. I think next is going to be, let's try to knock out some rust in here and see if we can't come up with an idea, patch that up. This is three inch, and what I'm thinking and hoping is I can do this without taking this off, but let me patch it on the back here if I cut it out. If I cut it out here, all the way to here, that'll leave us just a little bit more, maybe do that side. See, I got some bare metal in there now. So my thought is to weld in my new plate on the outside here, all the way down, as far as I can. And then I'll drill some holes in it and I'll plug weld it where I can on the good metal. Should be good enough. My original plan was to cut all this out. If I had a plasma torch, it'd be much more doable. My grinder cut wheel is pretty dull. That blade is shot. All right, we gotta smooth out one of these old welds a little bit. Yeah. Much better. plug weld on these areas here to keep it compressed as best we can before we I'm going to plan on welding all the way around it. A lot of welding but it's really the easiest way the only way I know how I'm going to be able to do this. Grind those down, see if it holds. All right, let me show you what we got. We got her all welded on top. I still gotta grind it in, but it's solid. And uh, had a little struggle on the back side, but you can see a pretty good penetration all the way around. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the grinding wheel all around this, clean it up, and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, not too shabby. It's in there, it's solid. Well, let's, uh, I'm gonna let it cool down a little bit, then we'll spray some paint on it. All right, we got a coat of paint on it. I say it looks better. I think that's gonna be it for this episode, guys. I'm just running out of time, but we've made good progress on it, and Next step on this is going to be we got a little bit of a patch over there to do. We got some metal left to do that. We'll run all of our electrical. We'll brush all this down, paint it, 
and then put some new boards and start reassembling. So thank you guys for a few that have subscribed and all the ones that are doing the little thumbs up thing. Really enjoy the comments. There's been a few comments on there now. Appreciate that. Uh, one of you fellers said the volume or the audio is not great. I am working on it. I'm going to try to figure out some type of microphone doodab, but this is, uh, this is all new to me too. So hey, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. See you next time.